Happy week 15, everybody. Hope you got your sleep like Tyron Woodley did because it's NFL Sunday, <laughs> baby. Let's go. You just tapped into the BR betting squad ride uh, live in the Bleacher Report app presented by DraftKings. I'm Connor Rogers alongside the man that was at the fight last night. Greg, how are we feeling today, man? What's going on? Feeling good, Connor. Feeling really good. Feeling so good. In fact, I'm giving away hoodies to the people in the comments right now. I got Jonathan 2x72. Jonathan 2x72 says Micah Parsons all day riding with Micah Parsons for Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, hey, you are walking away with a hoodie. We're Have getting fear, into that. Connor. We're getting into that at some point. But well, you know what we got to start with. We're looking for those touchdown scores. We ask you in the app. We ask you on social. We do this every week. Who is your lock to get in the end zone? It is the fantasy playoffs as well. So everybody's got extra eyes on this, Greg. Let's take a look at who you sent us this week. The top odds to score a touchdown. James Conner. At the top, he's been a workhorse for Arizona, but don't forget Chase Edmonds will be activated off IR this week. Leonard Fournette, regular season Lenny, not just playoff Lenny anymore. Ezekiel Elliott against the banged up Giants. Devontae Adams, Joe Mixon, Stephon Diggs, who has not scored the last two weeks. Going to be interesting to keep an eye on him. Cordero Patterson, who might be the reason most of you made it to the fantasy playoffs thanks to his waiver wire pickup this year. And then Deontay Foreman right there as well. Kind of our uh, dark horse one on this board. So with that being said, an interesting board this week. Before we get into the squad ride competition, I'll show you the Lock Legend videos from last week that we did not get to show on our program. My pick to score a touchdown this weekend. We might as well make it profitable. Uh, so let me do, I'm gonna need you to hold this permanently. I'm gonna stop the car. Sunday. Lots of the game. Aaron Rodgers. Patrick Mahomes. Lamar Jackson. Devontae Adams, touchdown this week. To Tom Brady. Derek Hart. It is. Jamar Chase, any kind of touchdown score. Lock it in, baby. All right, Greg, let them know what we got going on this week. All right, man. All right. We are giving away two, not one, but two NFL jersey gift cards. That means somebody in this comment, somebody that is watching right now is walking away with a jersey. And also, the winner of the Lock Legend contest is walking away in with a jersey. So what I need you guys to do is get in the comments. I need gifts. I need emojis. I need locks. I need winners. I need takes. I need you guys to just fill those comments up. But most importantly, fill them up with winners only, please. Thank you. You heard the man. Winners only, please. Help them out. Help us out. Fill that comment section today. Let's get into the Lock Legend Tournament. Who is going to be the squad ride leader? Who's taking home that title? Who's taking home that jersey? And what odds is Greg boosting this week? in DraftKings to score a touchdown. The first one is from Pro Angler JB, a familiar face. Who's scoring a touchdown this week, Pro Angler? What's up, BR Betting? So this year, instead of sending Santa my Christmas letter, I asked him for a lock. There we go, James Conner, minus 190. The Santa lock legend going with James Conner at minus 190, but you can do something with those odds. Don't fear those just yet. Our first competition of the day, though. We got Tyler Carbone here to challenge JB. Let's see that selection. Hey, BR betting, we got a lock for a Deontay Foreman touchdown, so we're gonna do some snow angels because we're praying for it. Let's go. Deontay Foreman, the Snow Angel Lock Legend. Deontay Foreman plus 150, Greg. I like that. That's a, We love that plus money on this show. We got James Conner, yeah. Santa Claus sending that one. We got Deontay Foreman from the Snow Angel Legend. Greg, first off, what do we need and how are we feeling about these? Well, first off, I need everybody in the comments to let us know. Let me know. Let Conner know which way are we riding. Are we riding with James Conner? Are we riding with Hunter Foreman? Um, 
I'm actually, I don't know which way I want to ride with this one. I know we do know the impact of James Conner, Conner. We do know the impact of him. Uh, Edmonds, Edmonds, the other back in Arizona, is coming back today. Is this going to affect James Conner touches? I don't know. And is him sitting at minus 190, Conner? That is a lot of juice. Now, don't be alarmed. You guys know what we can do here on the squad, right? But that's a lot of juice. If, if, if I'm being honest, that's a lot of juice. So, honestly, I, I, I don't know. And then with Foreman, Tennessee, they have another back Hilliard for, like, it, it's just too much up in the air. Uh, I'm going to rock with what the people are rocking with. But, Connor, which way are you leaning? Yeah, I, I'm going to defer to the people, too. I'll say that I'll leave you with this. Like you said, Greg, Chase Edmonds is coming back, and they're not just going to, you know, completely work him into the point of no return, but they need him involved to get ready for the playoffs. As great as James Conner has been, one of the best value free agency signings of this offseason, they need that two-back system. They need Chase Edmonds, the pass catcher, to get involved. They're going to ramp up his workload, which has to scare you a little bit. And at some point, James Conner needs a little bit of a break as well. Deontay Foreman, Greg, is just hit or miss right now, right? Well, you know, obviously, there's a lot going on in that backfield, like you said. So I will defer to James Conner because of what he can do on the goal line, but this is a tough selection. We're going to we're gonna call the comments to solve this one. Yeah, I'm in the comments right now. Uh, if you guys don't know, the new people to the show, this right here is the Handy Danny iPad. This is how you win your hoodies, how you win your jerseys. This is just, this is how you get tapped in. Uh, I see Manuel says, PHX1 says Winter Wonderland Foreman is a lock. Wow, like that. Uh, James Connor, easy touchdown machine with or without Edmonds. K Potts uh, says that. Shout out to you, K Potts. You're walking away with a hoodie. Connor, they're back and forth in the comments. I got Brandon Bostrom says Connor. I got Maxwell Rexel in the comments saying Foreman. Uh, I'm going to make a decision here, Connor. I'm just going to make a decision. Call it. I'm just going to slide. Bam. Oh, I got Zach Zwiebel says Foreman. So we're going to rock with Foreman. We're going to rock with my guy, Dante Foreman, moving on to the next round. The plus money, uh, Snow Angels, Tyler. You, you all are moving on to the next round. Deontay Foreman, the underdog, taking round one. And at that kind of plus money, plus 150, Greg's going to be able to get that at least into the 200. So a lot of fun to work with that one. We're not done. We got two more challengers to go here. This thing is far from over. And the next challenger goes by the name of Marshall McGaugh. Let's see that week 15 touchdown score, Marshall. What's up, BR Betting? I'm out here today with my partner looking for this week's lock. Let's go. Finally found it. Let's dig it up. Look what we dug up. Stefan Diggs, anytime touchdown score. Lock it in. They don't call them Labrador Retrievers for nothing. Retrieving the lock of the week is Stefan yes. Diggs from the hunting legend. Greg, this has been kind of a low-key favorite of ours on the squad ride uh, throughout the entire season, Stefan Diggs. And he hasn't found the end zone in the last two weeks, which means he's kind of due. Let's not forget he caught five touchdowns in a three-week span before that. Deontay Foreman clearly got some juice as the underdog from last round. Ooh, a little tougher of a matchup here, right? Oh, yeah, I'm all over. You mentioned it. We've been on Stefan Diggs. We've been Josh Allen fans. We've been on the Bills a lot during this show. Uh, and I'm still going to rock with my guy, Stefan Diggs. He's plus money. I like this plus money more than the, free, the Foreman plus money. Me I'll too. be honest. Uh, the reason why, Connor, we talk about it all the time. My guy, Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs is his number one receiver. He loves to feed Stefan Diggs. Honestly, it might be be the reason he's in his slump right now he's in a little slump right now it, it might be, be because he's trying to force feed Stefan Diggs but that's one thing we know that he's going to do feed Stefan Diggs so I'm going to rock with Stefan Diggs here and you guys know what we're going to do to that plus 110 uh, Connor which way are you leaning are you rocking with Stefan Diggs or are you still thinking uh, for him 
I'm going with Diggs, right? Number one, I'm surprised this is plus money. I thought this would be around minus 110, maybe <laughs> even even. So plus 110 helps a little bit here. And let's not forget, you said it, a true number one wide receiver for Josh Allen. Stephon Diggs has gotten double digit targets in six games this year. When the Bills need a first down or a touchdown or a big play, they look one way and it's Stephon Diggs, yeah. right? You just can't say that about Deontay Foreman. I'm sorry, he's been a nice storyline this year, no, no. but you go with what works. <laughs> you go with what's made you money in the past. So you're riding Diggs, I'm riding Diggs. Are the comments taking Diggs to the final round of this squad ride challenge? I got RTM17 says Diggs and Robinson. They're sprinkling two plays in there, but they got our guy, Stefan Diggs. Shout out to you, Ryan. You were walking away with a hoodie. Ben Yamin. Ben Yamin says uh, his, his username is Ben the Goat123. Says 100% let's go, Diggs. Um, shout out to you, Ben. Uh, and and I'll leave it at that. We'll just give away two hoodies right no there. I'm more. going with Stefan Diggs. Yeah, there's no need for more. We know what we know, Connor. We know what you want to do. We know what I want to do. And it's clear as cut, as clear as day in the comments. We know what they want to do. So we're just going to rock with Stefan Diggs and uh, let's keep this thing going. A blowout in round number two. I'm sorry, Deontay yeah. Foreman fans, blowout. but this is Stefan Diggs to lose here. Round three, final round. Winner takes home. NFL jersey gift card, squad ride leader, the title, and their touchdown score gets boosted. So if they were betting them anyway, go back in there and get the boosted odds. All right, Aaron yes, G. Sir. Wales, do you have enough to knock Stephon Diggs off the leaderboard here? Let's see it. Oh. All right, real quick. Diggs or Zeke Elliott? No questions. Who you taking? Anytime touchdown score. Good. All I needed to hear. Glad you're informed. <laughs> I don't know if that really sounded like Santa Claus there, but we're going to say Santa on the hotline going with Ezekiel Elliott. Don't let the minus money scare you. Minus 140. Greg's going to find a way to get that on the right side of things. We still like Diggs. We always really like Zeke, although he's been banged up this year and they got to watch his touches. Final round here, Greg. Give me your thoughts. Yeah, this one's this one's actually pretty tough, Connor. This one's tough. We got Stefan Diggs. We just talked about him. We just talked about what he the impact that he is on that Buffalo Bills team and what his quarterback tries to do. He tries to find him and he tries to find him often. But then we got Ezekiel Elliott here in a division matchup against the Giants. Where Zeke usually shows up in these matchups, Connor. In these division matchups, Zeke shows up. So I I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Zeke sitting at minus 140. You know what we can do. I, 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 I'll, I'll play it out, Connor. This is what I'll see happen. I see the I see the Cowboys getting inside the five. And you know when they, they're inside the five, you know what you're going to get a heavy dose of. A heavy dose of, I'm sorry. You're going to get a heavy dose of Ezekiel Elliott. So I think I want to lean Zeke. But I also want to sprinkle something on Stefan Diggs, bro. I'm so confused right now. I'm a lean with the people. I'm a lean with the comments, Connor. But which way are you riding? Which way are you leaning? Yeah, I wouldn't be mad with either of these picks. This is not a week where we've had the Cooper Cup weeks. We've had the Jonathan Taylor weeks. We're begging you, please take these yes. guys. They are going to score. Nick Chubb has been a squad ride leader and a scorer before. This one, you feel good either way. I'll leave you with this. Greg is spot on. Division game. Division games, you go with what you know. And for Dallas, for the last five years, that's been Ezekiel Elliott. Number two, I'm sorry. Right now, the Giants are a sorry you-know-what team, Greg. I mean, I got on your IG story last week and was like, Chargers 10, Chargers 9, don't care. They don't have their starting quarterback. Mike Lennon's turnover prone. That's going to lead to a lot of easy possessions starting on the right side of the field and easy touchdown runs. The only thing I have questions for with Zeke is he's been playing hurt. Is this a game where they're like, we know we got this in the bag. Let's manage his workload. But that's overthinking here. So let's yeah. let the comments take us home right now. Are they riding with let's Zeke? Let's let the comments. Are they riding with Diggs? Let's let the comments take us home. I got uh, Manuel is back in the comments, PHX1. He said Zeke will eat up the Giants. Shout out to you, Manuel. You already have a hoodie. Uh, <laughs> Elliot King Fast. Elliot King Fast. King Fast has, uh, he, 
he has the the the, the Vikings celebrating in the end zone. So he's rocking with Stefan Diggs. Shout out to you, Elliot. I got Joseph uh, Joseph M Joseph Magnana. It says Santa deniers pick will like the pick Diggs, not Zeke. So I'm assuming that they're saying that Santa should have chose Diggs and not Zeke. Shout out to you, Joseph. Uh, I got one more. I got one more. Uh, Manuel. Manuel's back in the comments. Manuel's just in the comments today. He's riding with Zeke. Hold on, one more. Here we go. Down to Earth. Down to Earth saying Diggs into the sunset. Hunting legends. Shout out to you, Down to Earth. They're all rocking with Stefan Diggs, but I'm going to make a decision. <laughs> Call it. I, I'm going to make a decision, Connie. People are always saying, Faye Greg, Faye Greg, Greg never wins. So guess what? I'm fading the comments. They're all rocking with Stefan Diggs. Let's we're go. rocking with Ezekiel Elliott today. Let's we are go. rocking with Ezekiel Elliott. I'm giving you guys a little taste of, of, of you guys' treatment that you guys send to me. I'm giving it back to you. And we are rocking with Ezekiel Elliott to score a touchdown today. Let's pull up the graphics so I can show you guys some magic. Because you guys see Ezekiel Elliott sitting at minus 140 right there. Poof. Look at that. It's not minus 140 anymore. It's now up to plus 120. Thanks to our friends at DraftKings for boosting that for us. Make sure you guys check us out on all the socials for links to the odds boost. Send us your screenshots of your bets. Send us your videos and your celebrations. But most importantly, most importantly, guys, we want winners and winners only, please. Nothing else. Man, I am so here for the Greg heel turn right now. He's had enough of y'all, enough of the BS, <laughs> enough of the trolling. He said, I'm picking the squad ride. You can put your money on plus 110 digs, or we can boost Zeke to plus 120. So shout out to Aaron yes, G. Sir. Wales. You are the squad <laughs> ride leader. And shout out to Greg for making the decision. It's the first time we didn't lean on the comments the full time. Had a little fun with it. Speaking of those comments, we got more locks. We got more hoodies. You got another jersey gift card to give away. Jersey of anyone's choice. This is the community comment contest time. This is the winner takes the hoodie. We asked you a pretty simple one this week in the BR betting community stream in the Bleacher Report app. You had $100 to put on defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Who are you putting it on? Let's take a look at the odds leaders here so far. Miles Garrett and TJ Watt at the top. Micah Parsons is surging into this right now. He has the defensive rookie of the year race locked up. He is surging into the defensive player of the year odds. Then Aaron Donald, Trevon Diggs, sorry for the DBs, Diggs and JC Jackson. Guys just don't really get a fair shake anymore. Nick Bosa with 14 sacks plus 2,500. Greg, what we get this week? This is a pretty interesting board right here. Obviously a really tight race. Yeah, yeah. I, what I need the audience to do is tell me which comment you guys are going to like better. I'm about to hop into these comments from people, from people like you guys that, 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 that commented on this. They sent us their take, and we're going to vote and see which one we're going to ride with. Let's start off with Tony. Tony Kilos. He said uh, Nick Bosa. He's double teamed almost every play, Connor, and he's still unstoppable. This is a fact. I'm a Niners fan. I watch their games. Nick Bosa is always either double teamed or he's being held. And he's still having an impactful year. Connor, he's sitting at plus 2,500. Crazy. Bro, if he goes off one game, just imagine if he gets four Get sacks in his next game. Bro, that's great value. I love this. I love this take right here, but what's your take on it? The take you, you feel yeah. Nick Bosa this year? The take is awesome. Number one, you guys are both right. As Niner fans, it's kind of crazy. He's just not getting enough love. 14 sack season, which is nuts right here. Plus 2,500 odds. Those do feel off to me. Now, normally I would say Miles Garrett is free money at plus 300 because he's been so good. He's got 15 sacks. You nailed the point, Greg. The voters, 
Just go by the numbers. They're not going to look at guys getting – it's wrong. They're not going to look at guys getting double teamed. They're not going to look at guys doing the dirty work. They're going to go, who had the most sacks or who had the most pressures by advanced data, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. So right now it's Miles Garrett. You guys are both right. One big Nick Bosa week, and he's going to be even more than plus 1,000. You might be looking at plus 600, plus 500. So Bro. this thing's far from over. I love this take. All it, that's all it takes is one week. That's all it takes is one week. Let's move on to the next comment. NS Slim Shady 92 says Aaron Donald is easily the best value bet here. Uh, Don't agree. I, I, I mean, Aaron Donald, it's good value. I mean, it's decent value for Aaron Donald. But Connor, let's be real. You just mentioned Nick Bosa, Miles Garrett. We even got Parsons from the Cal. There's just guys in front of Aaron Donald that I think that have a chance at actually winning than Aaron Donald. But what's your take? Are you in on Aaron Donald? Is he is is that easily the best value? I'm not. And Aaron Donald has been the best defensive player in football for almost the last decade, right? And in terms of best players in football, it's been him and Brady for quite some time. That's how good Aaron Donald is. And this year, yes. he's been great. But there's just simply been guys that have been better. I, I look at this strategy because we're talking best value bet here, right, Greg? Value bet would be Bosa. You could sprinkle hedge a little bit on it. Another yes, real bet, absolutely. Miles Garrett at the top, <laughs> plus 300 is a lot of money. So you put a real bet on Miles Garrett, you put a sprinkle bet on Bosa as a hedge, I think you'll come away with the winner there. People will look at Parsons and say, oh, you know, he's going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year, and the award system will look at that as enough. So I, I wouldn't get caught by the hype there. Love Aaron Donald. Just don't think anyone cares about him as Defensive Player of the Year right now. It's harsh to say. It's dumb to say as a football fan. It's reality. Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy at all, Connor. You're actually preaching. And I want people to listen to you right now because my guy just spit some fire on a Sunday. He is preaching. He said, sprinkle on Nick Bosa. Put some money down on Miles Garrett, and you're walking away a winner, man. I love that. I, I, you're, you're preaching to the choir right now. And let me uh, see if the comments is preaching to us, Connor. I am in the comments, and I got Landon. Landon is rocking with Micah Parsons. Must be a Cowboy fan. But, <laughs> nah, but Michael Parsons is also balling. He's awesome. My, Michael Parsons is also balling. As you guys can see, the comments are jumping on my iPad. Uh, look at look at Brandon is also, you, see, you guys see Brandon talking about Mike, Michael Parsons. There goes the comments jumping again. Uh, BR Betting's telling you to preach, Connor. I'm gonna make a decision. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a decision, and we're gonna call this a biased decision. And, and <laughs> oh well, and, and it is what it is. It, it is what it is. Uh, I, I just want to give out some more hoodies. I got Isaac Boatman. Isaac Boatman, you are walking away with a hoodie. And Aaron Sham 45 says, "What is the man? You're walking away with a hoodie." But we're gonna make a decision here, Connor. We're going to go with my guy, Tony. We're going to go with Tony simply because he mentioned Nick Bosa. I'm a big Nick Bosa fan, and that's not the reason he's getting the jersey. But his take was just better. Nick Bosa has better value than Aaron Donald. Connor mentioned that. And Nick Bosa has 14 sacks. He's one game away. I, I, I strongly feel he's one game away of, 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 of you know, making his case or defensive player of the year. So we're gonna rock with Tony. You're walking away with a jersey. I'm gonna send you a hoodie and uh, love your take, brother. Love your take. But Greg, we see these things flip all the time. You're right, it takes one game. It takes one game. Aiden Hutchinson had two big games in college football and flipped as the favorite to be the number one overall pick, went into the Heisman odds. These pass rushers, three sack games, it flips the odds. Keep an eye on Bosa, keep an eye on, of course, Miles Garrett and Watt. And even Aaron Donald out there, although it's tougher for those interior defensive linemen. All right, moving on. Prop segment. We're not we're not getting out of here without our prop segment. You got to tell us if it's either a lock or if it's a drop. Greg, what props are we looking at this week? I think we're going to go on the offensive side of the ball this week. Okay, you guys, you guys, let us know. Let us know if it's a lock or if it's not. I need y'all to get in the comments, fill them things up. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into it, Connor. Let's start off with Cordell Patterson. Cordell Patterson to rush for over or under 48 and a half yards. He leads Atlanta in rushing yards, scrimmage yards, and touches. And the Falcons, they've been running the ball lately, Connor. 
They've been running the ball in the last three games. They had a hundred yard uh, rusher. So Connor, is this a lock? Is this a lock? Is, are we locking this in or are we dropping it, man? Is Cordell gonna go over? 48 and a half against my Niners? I'm going to drop it. Uh, I, with Corderell, and I've been a Corderell prop better this year, I just look for all-purpose yards because you never know what Corderell you're going to get. And that's because the Falcons are trying to be obviously unpredictable with him, whether it's going to be workhorse runner Cordero or it's going to be 10 target Cordero. And if you go with the all-purpose yards, you give yourself some insurance there. No matter how high that number goes, he's been pretty good at hitting it. Now, with the rushing total, 48 and a half is not a lot here, Greg. But the problem is, you know this, your Niners, besides the Seattle game, the last five weeks, they haven't allowed anything going on on the ground. The Falcons are very predictable. Uh, it's a shame, you know, they, they've, they have lost Calvin Ridley. You know, Kyle Pitts, teams are queuing in on him and Patterson, and they've both still been really good. It's just tough against a, a rising defense right now. So this is one I traditionally stay away from. I'm going to drop it. Connor, you're dropping it. And uh, I, I, I don't dislike that because, like you mentioned, the Niners do play the run well. They, play, they, they stifle running backs when they usually face up against the 49ers. Uh, but today, I, I see things happening a little different, Connor. I see things happen a little different. We're playing against Matt Ryan, who likes to throw the ball. Historically against the Niners, he slings. He throws the ball. We're struggling that corner right now. The 49ers are struggling at cornerback. The guys are dropping out like flies. We got first, I mean, draft picks out there, rookies out there. So we're struggling that cornerback. So I see the Falcons coming out, throwing the ball with intentions to throw in the ball, Connor. And with that being said, that's going to open up some lanes. 48 and a half isn't, I mean, it's not it's, crazy. It's, it's, all, it's, it's a half a century. It's almost 100 yards, but it's not crazy. This can happen in two rushes. Two, two 20 yard, two 25 yard rushes. You know what I mean? This can this can happen easily. So I I, I think I'm gonna rock with the over here. I'm, I think I'm gonna rock with the over. I don't see Cordell Patterson being a bell. I don't see him being uh you know a bell in this game or, or, or toting the rock 25 plus times. But I can see him getting 48 and a half yards. All right, we got let's one, one more prop. Though. Let's knock it out. Yeah, let's move on, Connor. Let's move on because I really like this one. I like this one a lot, and I know you'll like this one. We got Aaron Rodgers to throw over or under 271 and a half passing yards. Connor, he threw for 341 last week and four tubs. Let's not forget it. Ten touchdowns and no interceptions in his past three games. Connor, peep this one. He needs four touchdowns to pass Brett Favre. For first place on the Packers all times list. He's gonna be hungry. Yep. He's gonna be hungry, Connor. Yeah, listen, ah. you're all over it. You're on it. When there's a record in sight, and for a dude like Rodgers, we've seen this with Brady, those type of dudes, uh, they see red. They they lock in. And let's not forget here, Greg. He's playing the Ravens, who have lost everybody. And as we were prepping to do our show today, Jimmy Smith tested positive for COVID. So it's like the onion headline, right? The man that has lost all hope, seemingly lost hope he didn't even know he had. The Ravens keep losing players that they didn't even expect to start for them this year. So the point is Aaron Rodgers is going to come out and throw the ball around the yard. The only way he does not hit this over, which feels like the gimme of the week, is if they get too early of a lead and just have to run out the clock. So over, 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 lock it in. Connor is rocking with the over. So am I. I bet on this Ravens team uh, last week. I bet on – they covered. I bet the money line. Got it from you, Connor. Bet the money line. They did no not way, win. No. They did cover. But one thing that's been constant with the Ravens this year is people have been injured on their team. They've yep. been dropping out like flies. That defense is injured. Hey, Aaron Rodgers, he's uh, – Baker Mayfield was throwing the ball in the first half last, last week. He's no Aaron Rodgers. So go get 271 and a half. Aaron, I, I see that actually being easy, Connor. Uh, so I'm rocking with you. All right, moving on. 
Props looking good this week. I like Rodgers. You're starting to sell me on CP a little bit. Boldest bets time. You all know the deal by now. Greg and I bring our boldest bets. We're going to ask the comments to get it done, right, Greg? How are we feeling this week about our boldest bets? Feeling really good. Feeling really good. Feeling real, real, real good about these bets, Connor. Let's get some money. Uh, let's get right to it. But hold on. Before we get to it, I need everybody in the comments. You guys let me know if you're riding with me, you're riding with Connor. We're going to win this week. We're going to get some plus money for you guys. So let's get right to it, Connor. Yeah, came close last week. Underdog parlay. Falcons win. Ravens lose a tough one. So the parlay only goes one to two. No hit. Let's bounce back this week. Let's go back to the well of two touchdown scores. Gronk against the Saints. Two touchdowns. And so you got to know with Gronk right now. Gronk catches them in bunches. If you're going to have the guts to bet on him to catch one, bet on him to catch two. He's done it three times this year, and I think every game he's caught a touchdown, he's caught a second one. Now, Brady did not look good against the Saints when they played earlier this year. This is a defense that he struggles against, but let's be real. This is not the same Saints team. Brady gets angry coming off disappointing performances against teams, holds that grudge, looks to run it up. Gronk's on the field. Bet Gronk, two touchdowns, plus 750. Those are juicy, juicy odds. Greg, where are you going this week? Connor, I love that. Connor, uh, Rob Gronkowski is actually on my fantasy team. You mentioned earlier in the show, for the people that did not make their fantasy playoffs, you feel sorry, sorry for them. Feel sorry for <laughs> me because I did not make the playoffs. But that is okay, Connor. That is okay. Had a busy, busy, busy schedule this football season. But we're not making no excuses. Love that play, Connor. Love that play. But I threw a curveball. I threw a curveball at you, Connor. I threw a curveball at our producers. I threw a curveball at the segment, Boda's Bets, and also threw a curveball at everybody in the comments. Because coming right now is a lock. I think that this one's going to hit. I think that this one's going to be easy. We got Russell Wilson, Matthew Stafford to have over one and a half passing touchdowns in the game today. We know what Matt Stafford and Sean McVay has been cooking up. We know. We know. They've been hot. They've been cooking it up in L.A., but we also know what Russell Wilson does. And this is a division, ma uh, di division matchup, Connor. This is a division matchup. We know what Russell Wilson has been doing in this division for the last, I don't know how many years. And he's facing this Rams team, a team that he faces constantly every year. And he, and he, and he does his fair share. He does his fair share of, 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 of putting up numbers against this Rams team. And I can, I can see it happening today. All they have to do is get two touchdowns each. I can see this happening. So I'm going to rock with this. I'm going to rock with this. Matt Stafford, Russell Wilson, go get two touchdowns, man. Go get two touchdowns. I like you, Greg. I think Stafford knocks this out for you in the first half. You just need Russ to be able to throw. Uh, and this is a division game, which means it's going to be close, which means that he's going to have to, at some point, throw the ball down the field. Seattle's coaches need to let him do that. So I like this pick. Two touchdowns each is nothing crazy at all. So I, I love that you some found this. Money. Plus 170. This is awesome. Funny, man. This is a yes, good sir. find from Greg here. So we need two things right now, Greg. We need the comments to let us know who they're riding with. And I think you still have a giveaway in your pocket for this week's show. So let's get let's do that before we get out of here. Here we go. Here we go. I am in the comments, man. I'm in the comments. And I got a uh, Big Mike 13 says curveball, Greg. Curveball. Shout out to you, Big Mike 13. Actually, I think that that's worthy of a jersey. Uh-oh, sorry. Here we go. Uh, my, my thing is a little loose here. I think that this is worthy of a jersey because my guy just threw the curveball at us. Just threw the curveball at us. Mike, Big Mike, you're walking away with a jersey. As you guys can see, we're getting <laughs> spammed by J.J. Snell. He's rocking with J. you, J.J. Snell, that is not, that's not how you get a hoodie, J.J. Snell. Uh, at, at Specs 24 says almost, almost. We're close. Uh, I mean, I guess you were almost close to getting the jersey, so I'll give you a hoodie. Uh, uh, I'll give you a hoodie for that. Connor, uh, I'm just giving out take. I'm just giving out hoodie for takes now. We got Distant Thunder 88 Jacks going to blow out the Texans. Uh, Urban is free. Uh, giving you a hoodie for that. Connor, I'm done. I'm done giving out these hoodies. The people are rocking with me. They're they rocking are. with you. 
it, it, it's just vibes all around. It's just good vibes all around. Week 15, everyone's feeling good. We're at the finish line here. The squad ride is still rolling. It's still going to roll through the playoffs, so don't worry about that. That's a wrap, everyone. A huge congratulations to the winners. Shout out to Aaron G. Wales, the squad ride title leader. But shout out to the lock legends that challenged him. Marshall McGaw, Tyler Carbone, uh, and pro angler JB, who always brings the heat as well. Thank you to the commenters. If you won a hoodie, don't worry. BR Betting is going to DM you within the next 24 hours. So with that being said, enjoy week 15, everybody. I'm Connor Rogers alongside Greg Ivory. We'll catch you same time, same place next week.